south. And uh, I am uh, at a buddy's house. We're at Tony Thrasher's house. You've seen Tony in some of my videos. Um, definitely helping out on the HVAC side of things. And he's been learning solar and he's doing solar on his house. And so um, he's done a lot here. I'm gonna show you this project is kind of a unique one. And he's he went and he took a, a NABSEP class at a local community college. And after that class, he put up his own grid tie solar edge system, and I'll be showing you that. So what we're going to do with that solar edge system, what he's doing with that is is going to he's going to AC couple it to a solar arc with some arc batteries. And today we came to add a supplemental ground mount that is going to be 16 panels of DC coupled solar. So it's going to be an AC DC coupled solar 12k outdoor with room for expansion and. Uh, He's got conduits running everywhere. I'm going to show you his work. He did a really nice job. And so let me uh, start to show you what's going on around here. We're going to put 16 Phono 450s on here, two strings of eight. He, uh, he's got lots of equipment and already he, did the, he already did what I didn't want to do. He already did the trenching. So he's, he's got his own equipment, and that's awesome. And he'd already put a pipe out here. And there it is. So we just positioned our first posts so we can put our pull box there and uh, we'll be good to go and we'll get that right below there so it's a little bit we'll figure that out that's that's gonna be great and it's time to put the purlins on and check out his ballasted ground mount he did so when he finished up his solar class he uh, found these ballasted ground mounts hey what brand are these what gram what is this no, the ground, the ground mount. What is it called? Oh, uh, uh, Ecofoot Foot 2. Eco Foot 2. So you can see they're ballasted with these concrete blocks, and these are Silfab panels. I think he has a little over 12 kilowatts on here, and he's got a solar edge, and I'll show you his power room. That So he took in, equipment from his side of his house and put it in his shed, and it's making a nice little mech room over there. So this is gonna stay. We're gonna AC couple this to the 12K, DC couple that. It's gonna be a fun one. I think this is gonna all land in the panel, not into the gen breaker of the inverter, but I'll take you over there later. All right, now we're in Tony's mech room. He's got everything labeled nicely. Got all these conduits. He's like subfeeding the world. And we'll start, we're using the arc batteries. He has had this solar edge, which has worked great. Like I said, ever since he finished his solar class, he put that in. Well, you can tell that it's been out in the weather. It was on the house. He's brought it in here. It's going to be AC coupled to the solar arc. And this is his panel, which he's going to feed his farm store, his house, and whatever else he wants to feed from it. He's got more conduits in this place than Home Depot has. And... Uh, and a lot more money too. It's expensive to do all the when you keep adding buildings and but anyway, use some nice power distribution blocks. Super neat. Looks good. We just pulled in the solar. Uh, we've got about 7,200 watts of DC coupled, and we're gonna do about 12,000 watts of AC coupled. We got a lot going on to this 12K. All right. So here is his outdoor. He's moved his solar edge from this wall where it was originally running that ballast to ground mount over to the shed. And then he's got his bypass that we always use so he can go off grid. So pretty excited to see this work, but we're done for today. I gotta get the kids home. And uh, and we are uh, we're wrapping up. So I'm just gonna show you. We fired this up. It is working great. And he's just gotta finish his wiring. Um, so like the power shed concept so just finalizing a few things uh, the ground neutral bar it'll throw a GFDI failure everybody wants to get ahead of things and not be done but I'm mean, have everything land there's always got to be a, a neutral and ground bond somewhere in the system usually at the first main panel and the solar will detect that you don't have that and it will throw an alarm GFDI failure and our fault and um, so we're charging batteries on solar. It's the end of the day, so we don't have that much solar yet, but he's making progress. So, all right, I'm going to leave him to it. And uh, good job, Tony Thrasher. Yeah, so he's, um, he's a solar expert now. He even drew it all out. And uh, he is, uh, I guess we're going to, we've got a job coming up next week we'll be working on. 
And then when I get in trouble with HVAC, I call Tony. So, all right, we worked at the Thrasher, A Thrasher's farm today, made a lot of progress, and he has worked every night on this for the last two months, I think. Uh, shout out to A Thrasher's Farm and Thrasher's Heating and Air and Thrasher's Grading and Thrasher's now, <laughs> now it's Thrasher's <laughs> Thrasher's okay, Solar, Thrasher's whatever, Thrasher everything. All right, well we've had a good day, successful day, but I got to get the kiddos home. We'll see you, see you, Tony. Thank you guys. You're welcome. Bye.